So a customer brought me their Nintendo Switch uh, Animal Crossing Edition, and the charging port is fried. Um, sounds like they shoved something into it. I don't think anything else is wrong with this system. They've confirmed that even though, even after they damaged the port, they were still playing with it um, until the battery died. So we're gonna disassemble this, take the board out, and take a closer look. So let's take this under the scope. And you can see here, uh, check out that charging port. The pins are bent on one side. The other side looks clean. Um, unfortunately, once once that happens, it's, it's a ground pin and then possibly a data pin. So, I mean, I guess it's possible the port could, this could work without a, without a change, like just removing those pins, but I see some of the other pins coming up already, and once, once it starts to kind of come apart, that's it. So we're going to take this apart and put a new port on. I'm just going to remove all these back screws, and we'll get this uh, back cover off. All right. Got all the screws out. Take this cover off. It's really cool. <laughs> I really like the design on the Animal Crossing one. I'll put that aside for now. I'm going to go ahead and remove the screws for the shield. All right, metal shield. Looks good. It's a lot of thermal paste. Um, I'm going to disconnect the battery before I do anything else. Okay, remove some of these thermal pads, just going to put them aside, and this copper looks really clean, remove this heat shield, alright, just got to remove the cartridge slot now, we're going to do that next, alright, cartridge slots removed, put that aside as well. I'm going to remove the rest of the screws, disconnect these cables and speakers, and then we should be good to take this out. Uh, for the speaker cables, I find that using some of these to kind of grip the sides actually works pretty well. Um, those ca those connectors can be kind of fragile, so I like to just, you know, that, that lets me be firm but careful with it. Um, I'll put those aside. and. Should be good to take this board out. I got all the screws and we did uh, did all the ribbon cables, except that one. Okay, time to take this board out and we'll take a look. Okay, the fan was giving me trouble, so I just went ahead and took that out. There's only three screws holding it in. Um, so I got the board. Let's put this under the microscope and get that port removed as safely as we can. All right, so here's the port. Um, I got a big nozzle on. I'm just going to uh, warm up the area first. And I don't really want to deal with anything else. Uh, there was another YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to link them. Because they, they made a really good point. In that, um, you know, a lot of people will rip the pads on, on this board. And I've ripped pads before as well. But one of the things is, like this, this factory solder is very high melting temperature. Um, so one of the things that they would do, that he did, is he put the temperature up high, 480 degrees, no low melt solder on the on the on the legs, and physics says that you know um, the legs have less solder. Sorry, the the connection the pins have less solder so as you melt these if you if you're confirming that these outer legs are liquid then you know that the pins are also going to be uh, liquefied it'll make it easier to take the port off I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that so I'm gonna put the temperature up to 480 uh, a little bit of flux on the legs And then let's go ahead and heat that up.
and if we uh, obviously we're going to melt the plastic in the old connector but if we don't want it anyways so don't worry about it it's not going to hurt the board and the thing that we really want to want is the clean pins. We don't want anything coming off. I'm going to come back when this is a little more loose. I'm going to keep heating it up. All right, it's coming loose. Beautiful. Let's look at the inside. I'm actually curious if I destroyed it or not. Yeah. Huh, it's actually not too bad. But we're not using that. Okay. Alright. Let's come a little closer. Turn this down. Now we want to uh, clean up those legs. I'm going to add in some fresh solder as well. I'm going to turn on my iron and we'll, we'll come to that next. All right, just going to add some new solder on. By mixing in the new solder with the old solder, we're going to lower that uh, melting temperature. Especially these uh, these ground pins, it's going to be hard to it's going to be hard to wick them with the default solder. So we're just going to give that a good bath with some new solder. Okay, and let me add a little bit more flux. I just want to uh, make sure that these pins <clears throat> are thoroughly mixed. touch up these back pins when it's all said and done. Just want to make sure that those those have as much as possible. Okay. That looks good. Let's go ahead and uh, quick off the the leg joints. Fragile. Let's 
So we got most of it up there. Come back with some thinner braid and we'll do the rest. flip this over and we'll go from the other side. And I'm not going to put it on the board holder right now, I'm just going to whip this from the bottom. try adding some low melt and mix it in. Just one second. So I've got it cleaned as best as I can. I'm going to bring the air down to 420. And we're just going to heat this area up again. Um, I'm going to place the port down. And then we'll try to get that lined up as best as we can. Let me actually pull the camera back a little bit so I'll have more room. I'm going to grab the port from the top and bottom so I'm not touching any of the plastic. So if it does get warm or bendy, it won't damage it.
care or something. Just getting that out of the way. One of those pins looks like it's missing some solder, so I'm going to add some on. One second. Okay, I think I'm going to try to put the port on now. It looks like everything is nice and shiny and formed up. Make sure it's locked in. Add some flux. Waiting for it to all cool off. Ah, jeez. I totally set off my fire alarm there. Uh, I am using a fume extractor. It's just sometimes smoke gets up, gets up above. I just want to go in and check each of these pins just to make sure it's all, it's all okay. That scared. It really did startle me. They should all be solid. I saw it snap down in place. Yeah, so my guess is that the ones underneath are fine as well. Let's take a look at the inside of the port. Yeah, that looks nice. Very cool. Look at the other side too. Yeah, it looks flat. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and we'll solder the legs and, and then we'll test. Here's what we got. I'm gonna check those pins one more time. Just to make sure everything's okay. Solid, solid. We should all be solid. Cause we had quite a bit of solder. Not poking with a lot of force. Awesome. Okay. Time to clean up, reassemble, and we'll see if it works. All right, it's fully assembled. Let's test it out one more time. 
So I'm gonna make sure it works both ways. Cool, we got the charging symbol. And let's take that out and do it the other way. There it is. Awesome. So we got that port replaced on this uh, newer switch. I'm glad I was able to fix this for the customer, then get right back into gaming. Um, well, thanks again for watching. Have a great day.